So I've got the top of the body flat sanded. It's really flat. The piece of mahogany that I'm going to use as the cap works really well. They're the same shade and everything. I couldn't... Usually, it's hard to get woods that look the same from different providers, but they look great. The fretboard that I had isn't going to work. It's too thin. It's starting to cup a lot. So I had this rock maple that I'm never going to use. So I cut a uh, fretboard blank out of it. It's, this is really thick. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it in half, and then I'll have two uh, blanks just to work with. So this will be painted black, and this stuff has really th straight grains going the correct direction. They're very tight grains. It's perfect for painting. This rock maple is really hard. It's local to uh, like southern Oklahoma. It's not as pretty as maple, but we're painting it, so it's actually perfect for this, and it's light. So... I'm going to cut this in half on my bandsaw. I might just run it through my thickness planer and hog it. Nah, it's pretty thick. So I'm going to cut this in half. And then I'm going to start making some templates for the body carve. I'm going to use this shape for both sides. Uh, well, for this side, for the, uh, the chamber. So I'm going to make, you know, this, a template of this, so I can route the chamber for that. And I need to make this template for the cavity. See that this one, or this one, I'd like to get away with using this one for the cavity just because it's larger. And this is the top, so... Like, that's what it should be. I just don't know if, until I get those components, if this has some function other than just being there. If this holds something in place, I have to incorporate it into the kit. Or I could just hog everything out, find out where that's supposed to be, and then just glue and insert in. That's always possible, too. I need to make a template for this. And I haven't decided if I'm going to make a template for this yet or not. I can chisel this out and then come back with a router to clean it up. I don't want to start the neck yet. Um, I can start cutting out frets and stuff, but I can't start shaping the widths of the neck until I get the pick guard, because it has to fit inside the pick guard. So that's another level of difficulty with this, is that you know I'm trying to fit somebody else's dimensions. But... I mean, it's not terrible difficult. It's a lot easier than having to make that pit guard, I'll tell you that. So far, so good. I'm really liking this mahogany, man. It's very pretty wood. Back will look something like this. Once we stain it red, it's going to look like the red special. So I cut that board... This is about a quarter inch. I like for my fretboards to be really thick because I can always sand them down, especially when you're putting a radius that with that much arch on it. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the slots in this side and then um, get ready to... I really don't want to mess with too much until I get those pick guards just because they have so much to do with uh, all that other stuff but I can at least do the frets and get the frets cut out and put a radius on it and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that 24 fret 24 inch scale length 24 frets so zero fret I'm gonna leave some space up here for string guide Put in our 24 frets. Start getting center line. I've got my center line drawn on my neck blank. And so once I get my fretboard roughed, I can start to see where the truss rod's going to go. And I'm thinking about cutting the headstock out now 
but I'd really like to do that last because it's easier to put that thing through my bandsaw if I need to thin it. So I don't know. So I can at least do this. So I'm going to cut these frets. So I've cut out all the frets. I use this, you know, decide which corner I'm going to use as my primary. This one is straighter. I mean, they're, they're the same. I'll lay this guy. I just took a contractor square plastic kind and glued a square board to it. And then I put some neodymium magnets in here. So my fret saw will stick to it. Let's see. And then I can lay this and get square lines. I measured out 24 inch uh, frets, 24 inch scale length, which is 609.6 .6 millimeters. And I line, you know, my millimeter yard stick up to this and I go down and I mark each one. And then I cut each one down to a thickness or to, you know, about that depth. I really can't do much until I get the pit guard in because there's a lip down here that's got to fit in the pit guard and I don't want to cut anything until I get that pit guard. I need to make sure that width down here is going to fit the string spacing that I'm going to line up and then I need to make my nut down here and I've got the line set for what 47 mil is and then do my string spacing in there. So kind of in a holding pattern until the pit guard gets here and the guy's working on it. It looks great. I just don't know how long it's going to take to ship here because of the virus. He's out of New Jersey. And they're in quarantine. So I'm going to keep doing little stuff that I can, but I really don't want to do much until I get the pit guard just to make sure everything fits perfect. So here's my body traced out. These are all the areas that are going to get chambered. And so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and make templates. I can get them all on this one piece, so I'm going to cut out, this is the chamber for the left side, this is where the uh, tremolo will actually sit in the body, this is for the top, it will cover the tremolo, this is a cover that comes with it, and then this is the control cavity on the right side, so you have a volume and tone, and there's a piece right here in the original that supports the volume and tone knob, but I'm just going to glue a new piece in. It'll all be painted black and you won't be able to tell. But So I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to get my jigsaw cut on the inside of these lines and then get a file, you know, and just make it smooth so I can use a router, drop it in, um, and hog these guys out to about within a quarter inch. Give the back about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more. So let's cut these guys out. So I just drew out the string spacing. The way I do that is I draw out, uh, for instance, this is a where zero is going to be, so where your nut would be, and then scale. So this 24 inches is right here. Here's a 25 inch, which is most of my guitars I use 25 inch. So then I take the bridge and find the center of the bridge and then find where the strings are going to leave the bridge. So in that case, it's these points right here. Then what I can do <clears throat> is figure out what my nut width is. And so these outer two lines are 47 millimeters. And then I came in three millimeters for the strings. That's standard. That might change. I, I'm not gonna cut anything yet. I wanna wait until I get the pit guard. And I'll show you why. So when I line up the fretboard and I run my laser to meet these two points, I get this string spacing. And it's even, which is good. Uh, but until I get the pit guard, I won't know the width of where this rests in the pit guard. And so that will determine how far away from these strings I'm going to cut. And hopefully it's about three millimeters on either side. If it's not, you know, I'll just come in a little bit. It's not a big deal. 
but I might have to change the nut width down here to accommodate a tighter. Uh, I've read that his nut width was 46. I've read it was 47. Uh, everybody talks about how wide it is, and 46 is really wide. 47 is even wider. Like a Stratocaster is much like uh, your standard Les Pauls and stuff are like 40, 43, 42. 44 is about as wide as an electric guitar normally gets. So this is 46, 47. I don't know. We'll see. But I've got these all done. I've got these all cut. I'm about to get ready to uh, route out the chambers for the body. The neck's ready. I'm going to install the truss rod tomorrow. So the truss rod is going to go in there. And then I'm going to hog out this area down to about a quarter inch. So the back will be a quarter inch thick. This will all be gone, and then we're going to cover it with the uh, mahogany top. I'll also cut out this and start figuring out how I'm going to mount the tremolo. Um, it's really weird, and I've got these two bolts that are going in here. I really don't know why they don't... Uh, I mean, they're threaded bolts already. I, I just I don't understand why they don't have... A tapping end and then you just bolt the trim directly into the body instead there's like an insert with uh, threads so you can tighten these bolts to, that hold the spring assembly for the tremolo and I'm thinking if I have a drill bit long enough I might come put two holes here go through and that way I can cut into the body but I don't think I have a drill bit long enough I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm still kind of in figuring out phases. Luckily, there's a bunch of people that do this. They might have some tips or something, but I'll get to that tomorrow. I don't want to mess with this until I get to pit guard because uh, the switches rest inside of this, and they're sort of mounted. But I'm going to glue some pieces in the cavity out of this spare mahogany that I have. And so... But again, I want to wait until I get the pit guard, make sure that it's going to completely cover all of this. This is going to get covered with a you know, piece of top, like a quarter inch piece. So this stuff doesn't matter. So I can get that done tomorrow. So far, so good.